Welcome everyone. This video is on the art of writing informal invitations. It covers the essential skills in writing informal invitations for certain occasions. Before we get into the mainstream of discussion, it is important to keep the following basic points in mind. Basic points. I emphasize on this. In fact, invitations and their replies, they are the integral parts of communication in the academic, business and social spheres. Whether it is inviting a guest to a school function or extending an invitation to a professional event or responding to invitations by somebody, you should have the ability to create appropriate writing. You should have the ability to create appropriate writing and that writing is a skill. This skill once mastered will help you not only in the examinations but also will serve your purpose throughout your life. Keeping the importance of writing invitations in view, this video is going to provide the essential skills of writing different invitations with specific emphasis on explaining what informal invitations their replies are. Well, I am going to explain what the informal invitations are with their format, with examples to help you understand the art of writing invitations better. Well, to start with, what is an invitation? Simply put, any invitation is a written request. Written request for what? For your presence in an organized occasion. Organized occasion may be the celebration of someone's birthday, marriage of somebody, marriage celebration for that matter, annual function of a school or of a college, inaugural ceremony of a public building and so on so forth. Invitations for that matter can be of two types. One is formal invitation, another is informal invitation. And what is informal invitation? When an individual invites others to a purely personal occasion such as the marriage party, a house sanctification ceremony and so on, birthday maybe. Such invitations they come under informal invitation. On the other hand, when an office or organization invites you to attend uh, office related occasion, such as the annual function of a school, seminar of a college, inauguration of a office building and so on, such invitations come under formal invitations where one office is involved. Well, let me tell you, there are two dimensions. One, Invitation may at times mean to request only one person, one person to the occasion. If you request someone to be the chief guest of your sports meet in your school or as the keynote speaker of the seminar and the person concerned is one. For some other occasions, invitations may mean requesting many people at a time for their presence in a particular event. For example, when a principal invites parents to the annual function of the school, the intention is to invite many people by the same writing. Conclusively, I want to bring this to your knowledge. In order to invite one person for a particular occasion, the letter format of writing invitation is adopted. Letter format. Letter format for one person. And to invite many people, the card format is resorted to. Both the formats are discussed in this video for your easy comprehension. In the case of informal invitation, the same thing. If you are inviting only one person, the letter format may be adopted. If you are requesting many people, card format should be taken too. Now, Let's get into the details of informal invitations. I have already said an informal invitation is one given by the individual for a purely personal occasion, usually extended to the friends, family members or to close acquaintances. It is typically written in a casual and friendly tone. And now let's try to know the format of informal invitation. Different parts of the informal invitation are the sender's name and address. Next, details of the occasion. What is the occasion? What is the event? After that, the day, date and the time of the event, location of the event. After that, a brief description of the event. What are things going to take place or happen in the event? And finally, a request note. You have to request the person for his attendance. Here is one simple writing of informal invitation. It is written in the card format by the parents of a girl for her marriage. You may call it a matrimonial invitation. It is an informal invitation, an individual writing purely on the personal level to somebody with a request to attend the marriage party. Here is the marriage invitation. It is an informal invitation. First the name, those who are inviting Mr. Kartik Patnaik and Mrs. Kavita Patnaik, name of the couple. Of 25 Buddha Nagar Bhubaneshwar have the pleasure of informing you about the marriage of their only daughter Sabita, nicknamed Muni, with Dr. Sanatan Mishra Second son of Mr. Madan Kumar Mishra and Mrs. Mohini Mishra of Devla Sahi Katak on the 25th of December 2023. At the beginning, I wrote the names of the persons those who are inviting and their address. Next, I mentioned the event or the occasion, marriage, 
and I elaborated this particular point of marriage with the information that Savita is the bride going to marry the bridegroom Sanatan Mishra and details of Sanatan Mishra date of marriage everything I have mentioned in the body of the invitation 25th of December 2023 that is Sunday at a place Hotel Mayfair near Zaida Bihar Bhubaneswar and after that there is a request made you are cordially invited to attend marriage ceremony to bless the newlyweds and next comes RSVP program these are the two important aspects my dear you should be very clear about what is RSVP what is program RSVP and program once again I emphasize that they are the invariable parts of the invitation RSVP it is not an English expression it is an acronym for responders seal rose plate it is a French expression and it means respond with a reply to the address given yes this invitation is written in the card format after getting an informal invitation you need to respond with a reply to the to the writer or the giver of the invitation here are some tips for replying to an informal invitation be sure to thank the sender for the invitation this is the first point in replying to the invitation let the sender know whether you are going to attend the occasion or you are not going to if you are unable to attend offer your regret and explain why you are not able to attend keep your reply brief and to the point use a casual and friendly tone so reply to the informal invitation is written in the exact format of informal letter writing remember reply to any informal invitation it takes the format of informal letter writing and in the informal letter writing what is the format what are the different components in informal letter different components are parts of the format are your name and address then date then salutation next body of the letter and then subscription or formal complimentary closing here is the reply a simple reply to the invitation say mr dinesh he has received the invitation he, after receiving he is replying dinesh das is writing his address Dinesh Das, 25 Pachari Bihar, Bhubesho, this, this is the sender's address. Well, after sender's address, there is a space and then the date. The date is, say, 20th of November, 2023. And there comes the salutation. Dear Karthik, after the salutation, there is the body of the letter. You have to appreciate first. See the line of appreciation. Thank you very much for inviting me to your daughter's marriage. While extending my blessing for Sabita, I would like to confirm my presence along with my wife at this specified venue on the exact date in fact we are looking for a get together like this since long we will have a great time on that particular day and yes who is the occasion a memorable one after that formal closing stay well yours lovingly Vinesh. here is another informal invitation in the later format you are alone and you have arranged a dinner party at your apartment on friday november 10th at 8 pm invite your friend Prabhat malik to the party how you are going to invite in a later format first you write sender's address your name house number then the main city with pin code number after that there is space and comes the date say first november 2023 after space there is this salutation dear Prabhat, and the body starts i have planned for a dinner at my place on 22nd december 2023 at 8 pm i am inviting you in particular because we share a special family bond next part of the letter you can have anything you like from an appetizer to main course please don't forget to come with your son and wife another request i'm really looking forward to getting all of you together with everyone and enjoying some delicious food and enjoying the moment finally closing see you soon lovingly alok note that this invitation is written exclusively for one person and so it is in the later format well here is the reply to the invitation and the name and address after there is space and the date next salutation hi hello thanks for inviting me to your dinner party buddy at the later though it would have been a great occasion i am really sorry that i won't be able to make it i have a prior commitment that particular evening and it is really difficult to reschedule it so someone is unable to come i am so disappointed to miss the occasion i am sure it's going to be a lot of fun please my apologies to everyone else Wishing you a sweet party with near and dear ones. I hope to see you soon. Then final closing. You are friendly, Prabhat. By now I am sure you have got an insight into the art of writing informal letters, informal invitations in particular and their replies. So get into intensive practice. Achieve your perfection in invitation writing. Now here, this video comes to an end. Thanks for watching.